hands, dear beloved ones. We're back with another wisdom story, another short one. So I would love for you to use it as a relaxation time. Again, whether you're lying on a couch or on a bed or being in a chair or on the floor, wherever you might find yourself, get cozy, wrap yourself in a soft blanket or imagine that you have a soft blanket around you and let the words of the story wrap around your heart to bring you warmth and magic. This is called God and Hiding. A legend tells how, at the beginning of time, God resolved to hide himself within his own creation. As God was wondering how best to do this, the angels gathered around him. I want to hide myself in my creation, he told them. I need to find a place that is not too easily discovered, for it is in their search for me that my creatures will grow in spirit and in understanding. Why don't you hide yourself deep in their earth? The first angel suggested. God pondered for a while, then replied, No, it will not be long before they learn how to mine the earth and discover all the treasures that it contains. They will discover me too quickly, and they will not have had enough time to do their growing. Why don't you hide yourself on their moon? A second angel suggested. God thought about this idea for a while and then replied, no, it will take a little longer, but before too long, they will learn how to fly through space. They will arrive on the moon and explore its secrets, and they will discover me too soon before they have had enough time to do their growing. The angels were at loss to know what hiding place to suggest. There was a long silence. I know, piped up one angel finally. Why don't you hide yourself within their own hearts? They will never think of looking there. That's it, said God, delighted to have found the perfect hiding place. And so it is that God, source itself, hides deeply within the heart of every one of God's creatures until that creature has grown enough in spirit and an understanding to risk the great journey into the secret core of its own being. And there the creature discovers its creator and is rejoined to that source creator for all eternity. I'm going to leave you with this ending. No commentary. So that you may revel in the beauty and the simplicity of the message. You are so loved. Thank you for tuning in again. For this feeding and daily care of your true sacred embodiment. Namaste.